Is it worth buying captures of amps? There are millions of them to wade through. Most of them I just don't want. Wading through Tonenet to find good captures is very time consuming and not easy. There are millions of amps that I'm just not interested in buying. Loads of the ones I do want just sound rubbish because they were done by well-meaning amateurs who, to be fair, couldn't hit a cow's ass with a banjo and never mind place a microphone in just the right spot on just the right speaker. Should I pay for some? Is it worth paying for some to get better quality? Who's got a decent demo of their stuff and a pack of amps that I can actually relate to and that might interest me? So I saw a YouTube video by some chaps called the Studio Rats. I watched their video lots of times. I came back to it, I left it, I came back, I mulled it over. I left it another fortnight and forgot about it for a while. Then I watched the video again, then I slept on it. And then in the end, I just decided to buy the bloody pack because it was only a tenner anyway. Hopefully this video will help you make your mind up a little bit quicker than I did about buying some of these packs. Needless to say, the quality of the packs that these lads have done is really good. I'm gonna run you through the amps that are in the pack. I'm now actually using some of these captures live. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what setup I'm using, which, which captures I am using, and I'm gonna give you a little secret as to one extra capture that you can use, again, from the same lads, that really brings your live setup to life and gives you everything you need for a good cohesive sound and to cover all the bases with pretty much any kind of band. The captures that you get in the pack are a Cornford Hellcat, you get a clean channel and a drive channel there, a Marshall JCM800, a matchless independence, but you get three channels of that matchless, a Synergy Dumble preamp, and a Chandler with a drive on it. So I think we'd better have a listen, haven't we? So I'm gonna start with the Cornford, I'm gonna start with a clean one. And with it being clean, I'm gonna start on the neck single coil, okay? So you get something like this. Not bad at all. We've got two single chords, try this. Now I'm gonna turn the gain down just a little bit. Let's add a little bit more bottom end to it. Ooh, yeah, that's not bad. Back to the next single. That's almost that sort of Louis Shelton thing. Uh, yeah, not bad. Um, let's try neck humbugger. Pretty good. Nice and clean now. And with that little bit of extra bottom end, it sounds great. Uh, bridge single coil. Bridge humbugger. Bit less powerful, let's try a puffy humbugger. Cornford Hellcat Bridge, straight for that big hot humbug. Yeah, not bad. Neck humbugger. Neck single. single. Oh, I don't like that one. That's a bit cutty. Uh, the rest of them are great though. Let's try the next one on the list, which is the Marshall JCM800. This is actually the amp that I wanted that I bought this whole pack 
just to get. So we'll see what it's like. Now, I've got to be honest, let's do it straight out of the box. It had a lot of reverb on it and compression on it. Um, and I didn't like it. I hated it, in fact. Um, I've taken the compression and reverb off and it sounds like this. Still not convinced, but if I bring gain up just a little bit, the bass down a hair, a little bit more mid and a little bit more treble, we get... Hope he's not that much treble. And then whack the gain all the way up. <laughs> Neck humbugger. That's the business now. Let's try a couple of single calls. This is both single calls on together. That's good. Let's bring that gain down somewhere sensible though. Pretty good. Bridge single. Quite pacey. I'm beginning to think I don't like my bridge single chord. But next single. Backing down on again. Not bad. It cleans up a bit. It doesn't clean up to like sparkly friendly, but it cleans up quite a bit, so it's alright. Uh, I've got to be honest, I'm a lot more sold on that amp now than I was before. Um, with a lot of gain and a tube screamer on it, it's going to sound amazing. Let's try the Maxus Independence Channel 1 straight up as it is, neck single coil. Yep, yeah, that's nice. Two chords together. Not bad. Maybe a little bit of warming up could be done. Uh, but otherwise, not bad. Let's try the neck sing neck, neck humbugger. Yeah, not bad. Bridge. I can live with that. Let's try the crunch channel. I'm going to get a bit more gain here. We'll go back to the big fat humbugger. <laughs> Well, you know what? There's a lot of gain on there. Let's just back it down a little bit. A bit more. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit more than that. Oh, we've still got a pretty... That does power chords well. Let's try it with uh, two singles. So just for shits and giggles. <clears throat> you know 
one that I'll probably do for all your really stony kind of things. Next single. Oh, that's nice. All of that kind of thing's going to work well. Neck humbugger. Yep, pretty deep. Uh, but bridge humbug is where that lives. On. Especially with that pathy kind of pickup. Good, good, good. The lead channel, it sounds something like this with a bridge humbugger. I'm gonna up the mids a little bit. Yeah, that's where it's at. Up the mids a little bit and it just comes to life. Try that neck. Yep, I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's have a look at the Synergy Dumble Preamp. Neck humbucker, I think. Let's try the single chord. That's a little bit of a letdown. Um, not the captures fault. It's just that I don't know that single chord. Either. Compare that to the humbugger. Let's try a little bit more again, just just to see what happens. Not too much more. That's the neck humbugger single. I can safely say that that amp seems to work a lot better with humbuckers than it does with single calls. Let's try the bridge humbucker. Neutral gain. that mid a little bit. No. No, it was fine where it was. No, it was fine where it was. Bridge humbucker. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's try it with a lot more gains. Ramp it all the way up. Nah, too much. Compromise. Yeah, not bad. A bit wiry. It's a little bit more bottom end. Yeah, I think the best of this one is that, that neck pick. Yeah, that neck pickup is definitely the one. Uh, and the very last one, this is the Chandler. I'm guessing by the hiss, it's going to be a gainy one. Mm. Try a bit less gain. Next. Yep, not bad at all. I said earlier I was going to talk about what I was using live and give you the secret extra ingredient. Well, I'm going to do that now. So my live setup is actually the matchless and I've got the matchless clean. All I'm doing is adding a little bit of reverb to it, a little bit of delay. So you're getting that, that's a next single. That's 
that's two singles. Then the neck humbugger. <laughs> And it's pretty clean, not completely. I'll show you the bridge humbug, I never use it. Not on a clean set. Sounds something like that. And the single coil. Oh, I like that, I should use that more. That's nice. Yep, that bridge, hum bridge single coil is nice, I like that. Uh, the next sound I'm using is the crunch sound, which is the, is the, the matchless. Again, this is channel two of the matchless. Just like that. Now, I can, I can back that off. To be more crunchy, it works on two single coils. It works on the next single coil. And if I back off on that, it cleans up pretty decent. Neck humbugger. Again, backed up, cleans up pretty well, but then it gives you that. And then for my lead sound, I'm using, again, the matchless, but I'm using channel three this time. And I've got a little tube screamer on it, just to tweak it ever so slightly. And it's louder. It's got a bit more delay. So that's my lead sound. Now I said I would give you the secret. If you go to the Tonex website or the Tonex Tone Library, you can actually search and you can find another version of the same matchless amp that the studio artists, the same lads have done. But it's it's the clean channel, but with a little bit of a drive on it. And it sounds something like this. And I use this one for all my just breaking up kind of sound. So this is the neck humbugger with that sound. The neck single coil. single chords together this is great for your solve kind of tones bridge single chord Etc. and bridge humbugger. So there you go, there's my setup with the secret sauce. Don't forget to tell me what you think of these sounds. I think they are really good captures. A little bit of tweaking on some of them really hones them for your guitar and your tastes. But you know, it's a great palette of sounds that they've given us here. It's not an in-depth of one kind of amplifier. It's a good spread of lots of different amplifiers, which I think if it's your first capture pack or you've not got many captures like this, then it's a good bet to get something like this because you can do a lot with it. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, well, then subscribe. But I've also got that video and that video there telling you... Uh, but I've also got but I've also got that video there and that video there with lots more stuff about Tonex and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.